All right, it's uh, <clears throat> Saturday, July 9th, day 113, right out of Clark's Creek, Clark's Creek tent site where they were fly fishing. Uh, there was a thousand foot climb right away. Good workout, hot and sweaty, miserable. I was the last one out as usual. Mostly people about my age were there last night. Even some fly fishermen were there this morning. Even they left before I left. But I got on a trail at 8.30, which is pretty good for me. And I already passed one guy who left before me, so um, whatever. That was a good climb and it's been relatively flat, although rocky. A few ups and downs. In 10 days, I'll be out here four months. <clears throat> Dragging along. Trying to do a better job of holding my camera up so you can see the trail and my face. Nothing much interesting going on here, but it's easy to film. Um, trying to decide whether I want to stay in Pine Grove, which is 22 miles from here or so. So that's tonight and I would go in tomorrow. Or whether I want to push it since I've been dicking the dog here. Whether I want to push it to Hamburg, which is farther than that, I don't know, 30 miles another, another night. Maybe two, I don't know. I was looking at options of where to stay. Seems there's a few, but as usual, there's nothing conveniently located and hitching and shuttling is always a pain in the ass. So it's 11.15, I started at 8.30. I've gone seven miles. Um, I'm headed towards Roche Shelter, Roche, Roche Shelter. R-A-U-C-H. It's uh, 5,000 miles west of Hitler's bunker. So, uh, supposedly there's a nice spring there even though the shelter's off the trail a bit. Started to rain when I peaked, uh, crusted the ledge, but it didn't last long. Seems a little less muggy today, thankfully. Hopefully that holds out. Tired of sleep. Oh, I slept sticky and damp. I was laying on the air mattress naked last night. Finally, I had to put on my liner. And then as is the case the last couple of nights, it gets to be about four or five in the morning and I'm chilled. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to get my sleeping bag out. It's just too damp. So it's just a conundrum. All right. Probably staying at a tent site again tonight. Not a lot of shelter options for where I want to be. So I got to be careful about water again. Happy Saturday, July 3rd or 9th. Raw shelter. Not the cleanest shelter. Not the best spring. The trough looks good, but it's all full of schmegma. There's a little pipe on that side. I didn't film it, who cares? But it's coming out about two liters per two minutes. A liter per minute, I don't know, maybe even not that. There's a privy down there. But it's a bit skank here. But it was easy to get to. And it was 0.3 off trail, which sucked, but it's all flat, like easy walking. That was worth a shot. I had two packs of peanut butter on a pita to the tune of about 400 plus calories. And I've got 11 miles under my belt, headed back out. It's 1.30. I don't know where I'm going. I got my eye on a few streams, a few tent sites, but I just don't feel like I have a solid plan anymore out here. I think I'm starting to go insane.
So I had a dilemma, a conundrum back there a bit. I had the choice of staying on the Appalachian Trail and somehow crossing a flooded beaver dam area that according to Far Out may require getting wet. Some people said if you have good balance, you can log hop. I almost took the Blue Trail Bypass, but that was 1.6 miles. And I didn't quite feel like hiking 1.6 miles to avoid what might only be 20 yards. But I might be making a huge mistake here. I guess we're about to find out. What have I gotten myself into? That looks sketchy over there. Buckle up. Well, I don't know how this happened, but I was almost across, and somehow I ended up on my back in the swamp on the very last step. I was on the very last step of crossing and there was this tree as a handhold to step onto the very last log. And I don't know if I slipped or the rock ro rolled a little, but my left leg, I was up to my knee in mud. And then I ended up flat on my back thinking I was sinking in the swamp and I couldn't get up because I, I couldn't get my feet on anything solid. It was like swamp on the bottom. And somehow my right foot is mostly dry. My left foot is soaked, but there's not a spot of mud on my bag. I think I, think I fell onto two horizontal poles that I was walking on and it kept me above water. What a fucking miracle. I can't believe it. I thought for sure I was a goner. My pack is perfectly clean except for some skid marks where I landed on, I think some beams. I just can't believe it. What a, but I gotta wring my sock out. What a shit show. Even my pants aren't wet. Oh, got a little, got a little digger here. I must have landed on two things that I was walking on and stayed above water. I just can't believe it. I'm still a purist. I still can't believe it. Except this wet foot isn't feeling so good. But I'll take it. For the first time on the trail, I realized how bad it could have been and I actually feel pretty good. Funny how that works. What's going on, my guy? A lot of turtles. Anybody know what this tree is and what the berries are? I'm at a loss. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. I'm thinking about Pine Grove. I'm thinking about Hamburg. Thinking about too many Nero's. I'm thinking I stink. I'm thinking I'm wet. I'm thinking I fell in a swamp. Where am I staying? I just watered up at Trout Creek. I don't know if I'm going a mile or four miles. I just made a video and I didn't push record. I'm at an undisclosed or an unofficial tent site. Right after Trout Creek, there's a two or 300 foot climb. The main site's over there. If you walk back here, there's a little fire which I tried to start. My tent on some nice bed of leaves. Hopefully if that tree falls, 
it'll fall just left of me. It looks healthy, and there's not a lot of deadfall up there, but there's a lot of deadfall over there. Old rotten trees. Um, I tapped out at 16.2 miles. I filled up with water at Trout Creek, and then there was a 200 foot climb or so to this unofficial tent site. So if I go missing, even though I won't be able to post a video if I go missing, um, maybe they'll recover my phone. <clears throat> um, I didn't feel comfortable. Uh, it was five o'clock. I didn't feel comfortable having just watered up at the last uh, water site that I saw. There was another big climb coming up in the morning and I could go halfway up it now. I dropped down into a gap, but there was no water in between here and there and none at the tent site. Um, so I opted to not do the other two miles. That would have been like 18.5 or something like that. Um, so I'm sticking it out here at 16.2. Um, still thinking about whether I want to go into Pine Grove tomorrow. It wouldn't be a Nero. It would be almost a full day of hiking. 10 plus, maybe 11, 12 miles. Including a big climb. Just to get the stink off me and upload some videos. I'm still thinking about that. I have service here. That's another reason I didn't push forward. I like having service. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, got to dry off this shoe from falling in the beaver dam. There's a nice little bit of a breeze here finally, which is I'm grateful for, which I haven't had in a while. So you sort of dry off. The rain held off. Uh, da, 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 da. So I don't know if I'm going to Pine Grove or or pushing to Hamburg. I have enough food for Hamburg. I just don't like stinking and being humid and I can get into town quick. Spend that cash. Okay. I think that is all. I didn't push record the first time. All right.